man convicted for his role in a 1988 arson that killed six Kansas City firefighters will learn his fate in the next few weeks. Today, a resentencing hearing for Brian Shepard wrapped up downtown. That's where we find 41 Action News reporter Brian Abel. He's live now at the memorial left behind for those firefighters. So, Brian, what are you hearing from family members of the victims? Well, they say that they hope that the judge will reestablish that life sentence, a sentence that they say matches the crime, which was aiding and abetting arson that led to the deaths of their family members, the six firefighters you see memorialized here. Now, Brian Shepard turns 46 next month, but was just shy of his 18th birthday when the explosions that killed those firefighters happened. He was sentenced to life, but a new Supreme Court ruling gave way to a shot at a resentencing since he was a minor when the crime occurred. Now, we heard testimony in court today from family members of the firefighters killed, as well as the family of Shepard, who has a daughter and two grandchildren. His daughter testified that Shepard has changed in jail for the better and is a caring father and grandfather now. The U.S. government argues that that relationship is what was taken from families like the McCarnans. I understand that the convicted has been in jail and has had a chance to to help and become a better person, and I am thankful for that. But it doesn't change the fact that his crime was devastating to everyone involved, not just my family, but everyone else's family. Now, we did talk to Shepard's daughter as well. We'll listen to what she had to say in court, as well as what her expectations are of the judge tonight at 5 on 41 Action News. For now, reporting in Kansas City for the Now KC, I'm Brian Abel.